Sutton's at Ready Mix, Sutton Paving Ride. Still waiting on the vinyl. For the 09. And of course, Catco Construction on the sides of the Tommy Wetlet 55. We are underway. Alex Barakowski, sophomore driver. In the cookie jars, a 70 deuce. Hang on, and Nick Welsh is going from the uh, penthouse to the outhouse in one foul swoop. And he is slowing here in the uh, 41. So a tough break for Nick, and will he pull it onto the inner oval? We'll find out here as we complete lap number one. They're going three wide for the lead. Dan Dresso, Mark Koch, and Alex Bakowski off turn two. Trey day indeed, penthouse to the outhouse. That's my line. You owe me some royalties. Up front, it's the 09 of Dan Dressel, who is knocking at the door for the lead, trying to get the bite, but to his outside. And the 07 Mark Hoke putting the hammer down. My oh my, some great racing indeed shaping up in that tight fight for the lead. Coming out of turn number two, it is the 07 of Mark Hoke trying to circle around, and he gets the job done around Dan Dressel's 09 ride. But behind them, Bajkowski in the 72, he's got a horde of traffic to his tail, and to his outside as they go three wide, coming out of turn number four. Three wide behind him, Bajkowski, Welshins, and Mitch Friend, as Mark Hoke and Dan Dressel have just said, see you later to the field. As Tim Walsh is going from the rear of the field, heading towards the front and looking for a top three spot. As they work off turn number four, we're halfway home this time by four and four, more to go. And a three car battle for third here with Bajakowski, Walsh, and the 21 of Mitch Friend as they work off turn number two. Mitch, I can be your friend coming on down out of turn number two. He's knocking at the door to the inside of the 32 of Tim Walshens. Walshens now draws alongside the 72 of Bajakowski. Again, that tight battle for third and fourth at the line. Scores be ready on that one. That one's too close to call. Again, as Walshens trying to show that he wants that number three spot coming out of turn number two. Down the back straight. Right away, they will drag race it into three and four. Bajkowski still battling back on the inside track off the apex. They work off turn number four onto the main straight away on the drag strip. Give the third spot to the 32 of Welsh. It's Bajkowski right there in the preferred white slide. Contact into turn number one. They're wheel to wheel off turn number two. They're down the back straight away. Mitch Friends trying to figure out, okay, who am I going to go with now? Into turn number three. Do I follow the 32 of Welsh? Is the 32 of Bajkowski? Or do I say, nope, I'm going to make my own line. Thank you. And will he do it? Nope, he'll slam the door shut. White flag's up in the air. White flag is out by Bajkowski securing that third spot again at the line. This is going to be a tight one. Working now out of turn number two. Welshens trying to get the bite out of two on that outside groove, trying to show he is the master of faster. But coming on down out of turn number four, the checker flag is out and contact be made over turn number three and four. Welshens around in the ring, collecting himself up in the marbles, but the checkered flag is out for the 07 of Mark Hoke. Dan Dress on the 09. Mitch Friend in the 21, the beneficiary of being able to move up through and win in the wings, he comes in third, and Wetland will finish in fourth. Bajkowski and Welshens will round out the field as some contact made over in turn number four. You could see the tire up against the thermal foam right at the apex of turns three and four. I believe that tire does belong to definitely a bolder look this year for the 57 of Day Johnson. So we get ready to go here with heat race and number two, a mix of Wiley veterans here in the street stock wars here at Lancaster's the green flag is out. And problems for Rogers on the get go here in the number eight machine. He'll fall back to the rear of the field. Meanwhile, up front, Gary Bartella will have the scoops number three up front. Johnson in second, Kozmowski in third, and Jerry's gonna try to loosen him up. Off turn number four, there's single foul here to complete lap one. A little bumper tag going through that first lap from Kosmowski in the 69. He'll settle on back into the third position. Meanwhile, the three, Gary Bartella, is off and running away with this one. Dave Johnson trying to reel him in in the back pocket spot, but the battle shaping up, the ba closest battle of ring is the battle for third as the 17 of Delfonso draws right alongside and passes on through. And Shosik in the 19 also trying to collect himself as well. Follow the leader, 
in down the back straightaway into three and four. Delfonso will clear Kozmowski. Shoshik will try to clear him next as they work off turn number four. Max Northam looking for racing room. Behind those two as they work it back into turn number one and two. Bartella still up front. Johnson in second in the 57. Delhi running in third in the 17. Shoshik looking. Will Northam go three wide? Max does going into turn number three. Kozmowski will smoke the brakes. Northern will have to take it high and wide off turn number four as we come to the cross flags. Martell in the three and wide, your racing leader. The top three have broken from the balance of the field, working out of turn at number two. Dave Johnson trying to get a sneak peek to the inside with Delfonso in the 17, closing in as well. Coming on down out of turn at number four, it is the number three of Bartell electing to take that middle groove and the 57 of Johnson knock, knock, knocking at the to the inside. Let's see if he has enough strength and enough horsepower to do it. Coming out of turn number two down the back straightaway, they will drag race it in the three and four, and Bartel says, nope, not now, in that middle groove coming out of turn number four. And Delhi is right there, waiting in the wings. Two laps to go as they work it back into turn number one and two. It is still the three of Bartell, the 57 of Johnson, and the 17 of Delfonso. They work it down the back straight away. Into turns number three and four. Bartella still your leader, and the race is on. They're coming to the white flag. He's going to get the back pocket spot in the 17, Delfonso, trying to get the bite into turns three and four, showing that he is the master of faster. On the outside groove, but the 57 of Johnson closing the door this time. It is a tough Tight fight shaping up off the apex. They're back on the throttle again. Coming out of turn number four. They go try wide, three wide. And it's going to be the three. Bartella at the line. Johnson second and Delfonso third. Unofficially here in the tower. That's what we saw. But congratulations to Bartella, able to fight off the attack and go wire to wire on this one. From green to checkered, eight laps the total distance, and he's in for the win. So Gary Bartella in the three and Y. He'll be in for the win. Delfonso in the 17. Mike Delfonso was closing in as well as. Next to him will be the 88 of TJ Cochran. Steve, they're coming for the green flag, and the green flag is out. Parabates leading the way, and it will be the 98 of Dylan Carbone getting the bite from the outside around Mike Piccarelli in the 88X. And he's got a handful to his outside again as the Nova 96 looking to file on through and move up into the second position. Off of turn number four, Nova in the 96 puts the hammer down to the inside, completes the slingshot pass around the number 98 of Carbone that time. Single file fashion for the top three, and the top three are Dustin Nova in the 96, the 88 of Cochran, and the 88X of Mike Piccarelli, or check that, that's a 98 uh, Bill Carbone in the second spot. Meanwhile, the closest battle shaping up is the battle for third, fourth, and fifth off of turn number two. Hang on, TJ. He'll loop the 88 around in the middle of turns number one and two, and the yellow flag will fly from a Dakota Miller aboard the starter's bridge. Caution, lights are on. Yellow is out on the field. Caution is out on the grid. Three laps accounted for in this main event. D Dustin Nova. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Lancaster Motorplex. I'll be all right. <laughs> it's gonna say, it doesn't ring as a uh, Friday night home at Ransom for the Big R, but we're back on the way here at Lancaster on a Saturday afternoon. We're off and running the Holland Southtown Tire 96 for Dustin Nova and the Doc Sullivan's a 98 NY for Dylan Carbone as they work it off the second corner. And Nova's going to get the whole shot down the back straightaway. 
Carbo will get him back into turn number three. Barber and Carbo on wheel to wheel for third as they work off turn number four. Piccarelli there in fifth ahead of Cochran as we cross him up. Four in, four to go. Carbone in the 31 looking to make a move to the outside of the 01 of Barber. And Barber closing the door on that opportunity. Barber now in the 01 looking for running room to the inside, the outside, the high side, the low side, which is it going to be around the 98 of Carbone coming out of turn at number four. Keep your eye out on Lou Carbone in that 31 ride. It's a it's a Carbone sandwich coming out of turn number two with the 98 of Dylan Carbone leading the pack. Lou Carbone in the 31 up in the marbles and the 01 of Chris Barber to the inside now. Chris Barber going to go two for one off turn to number four. Here with two laps to go, the Custom Shock 01. And now Lou Carbone saying, anything you can do, I can do better, boys. I'm the veteran. I know how to get it done. I've been doing it a lot longer than both of you have. Down the back straightaway, Lou will take the two spot away. Dylan's going to try to follow him through. Off turn number four, white flags up in the air. Dustin Nova's missing a heck of a race behind him. White flags up in the air for Nova. Dustin Nova in that 96 ride off and running. And now it's side by side in that battle for positioning between Dylan Carbone in the 98 and the old one of Barber down the back straightaway into turns three and four. Piccarelli also looking for some sort of running room, and now Barber will close the door on the outside. Checkered flag is out. Nova in for the win. It's Luke.